Are you listening? Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to create this really awesome double exposure effect in here that you can see uh, using trees, only trees. And as you can see, it looks really cool. And I just create some uh, couple in here that you can see. It looks really great. And we'll be using this tree in here for our tutorial and also I will make sure like to upload these two trees in here that I also used for the other pictures so it's already in a PNG form so you don't have like to cut it or anything it's already cut and it's really in a good quality alright so you can just download this from the description below and you know just use it if you want it alright fantastic so let's get to it Alright, so open your Adobe Photoshop and go to File New and I will just keep using the same measures in here. You can change the width and height to wherever you want. So we we'll just keep it like that and I will press OK. Now you know just open the photo that you want to apply the, the, the exposure on. So we we'll just uh, grab this photo in here, we'll just use this one. And I will take it to the window in here and place it like that. All right, so now uh, all I want to use is this area in here. So the elbow and the head. So it, of course, like you need like to make a cut. So it will look uh, really cool like that. All right, so we choose uh, the quick selection tool and I will try like to select this area in here like that. Quickly like this. Yes, a little bit like that and in here like this all right all right and then I would go to the layer mask in here and I would just one click and it will make it in a layer mask like that and for these edges in here I can go and choose brush and I will try like to modify uh, the cuts in here so we just make it like this and then I will just cut it with a brush like that all right I think this looks cool all right so we just cut it like this really quickly so we just fast this part in here Alright, looks good. Now we just replace it in here. I don't know, somewhere like that. And then we just apply the layer mask to the image in here so it will be uh, one layer like that. Now I will just go and choose the, the tree I want to use. So we just use this one in here. And I will open it like that. And again, I will replace it in the window in here. And this time I will put it under the, the picture like this. And I will rotate it. So, all right. First, like I will, uh, I will change the blending mode of the girl to a uh, lighten. And this way, you can see, like this, as you can see. And now I will try like to place it in a place that I want. So, I will just rotate it like this. So I want this part in here to be in the bottom. So I will just right click and choose flip vertical. And as you can see, it will uh, make it flip vertically like that. And I will make it smaller a little bit. Something like this. And as you can see, it looks cool like that. All right. Something like this. Yeah, it looks cool. And now, now I will just make uh, I will load the selection of this cut in here by pressing Ctrl one click. It will load the selection, and I will make a layer mask in the tree like that. As you can see. Now I want to bring some of this uh, brush, some of these leaves in here, 
like this so we just go and choose a brush and we just start painting like that to make it appear like this it's really easy as you can see all right looks cool now we just make a, a hue saturation to the trees in here because it looks a little bit too much color to them so we just go and choose hue saturation and I will make a clipping mask to the tree and I will just turn down the saturation a little bit I don't know something like that all right something like this and I will add a little bit of lightness Just dark it okay we'll just add a little bit like that all right and i will make a level adjustment to the girl in here so we just choose level and i will make a clipping mask again and i will just make it a little bit darker like that all right now uh, i just i don't like this part in here so we just delete it from the trees in here so we just delete the face like that all right something like this and i will make another tree in here so we just drag the tree so you can use like whatever you know how much three you want it doesn't matter you can put you know three or four uh, trees if you want so we'll uh, duplicate the same hue saturation again and I will apply it to the same tree and I will just rotate it to make it a little bit smaller we'll flip it vertically again and I will try to replace it just in the face like that as you can see this way it looks really cool now just choose whatever part you want I think, I think this looks cool yeah I like this I think it looks cool like that maybe something like this and I will make the same selection again and I will just create a layer mask to the tree in here as you can see let's go like that and I will bring back some of uh, the tree that I just deleted like this all right see all right looks cool now I will just make it a little bit bigger so I press ctrl T and I will just make it bigger like that and it's already looks so cool all right let me see I will just will just maybe make it more lights in here make it a little bit more saturation all right okay perfect all right now I would just let's see I would just you know will uh, make a I will make a copy of the same girl in here and I will place it in top and I will change the blending mode to normal and I will fit, fill it with a black layer mask by pressing ALT one click it will place a black layer mask in here and I will just place the same bevel adjustment in top and make a clipping mask to the same girl in here alright now I will just want to bring back some of the details from the face so I just want to bring just a little bit from the mouth and the nose and you know the eyes in here so we just grab a brush again and I will uh, turn down the opacity for like 50% or maybe more let's choose 25 
orange and uh, with the light color with the white color sorry I will just you know just turn back you know paint over the the eyes like that and as you can see it will bring back uh, some of the details like that you know you can do that or not it depends on how you want the image to look all right just a little bit in here okay I like that all right so it's just a little bit and it look different As you can see you can always go back and you know bring some of uh, the leaves if you want okay all right now I would just uh, I would create a a touch and burn layer so I will just make a new layer and I will press shift a5 on the keyboard and in the content use just make sure here to choose 50% gray in here and press ok and this will fit it with the gray color so we'll make a, a copy of it and I will call this dodge and I will call this one in here burn and I will ch change, the, change them both to soft layer soft light sorry and I will uh, begin with the dodge in here so I will choose a uh, opacity of 10 or 12 percent and 12 flow and with the uh, with the black color I will just you know start to brush in over the the shadows in here so something like that somewhere in here and a little bit in here you know just a little bit to make uh, the shadow appears more all right in here okay it looks cool and a little bit in here all right in the hand like that Alright, as you can see, to make it looks to appear more. Now we'll go to the dodge layer in here and I will change the color to white and I will start painting over the white area in here for the lights all right so we put a little bit in here just a little bit like that and a little bit in the cheeks like that all right in the mouth in here all right looks cool as you can see Okay, so I think I will just go back to the level adjustment in here and I will make it a little bit more darker. Right, something like that. And I will go back to the hue saturation in here. And I will make it I will desaturate it more like this. And I will make it lighter like that. And in here too. Okay, something like this. All right. Okay, it looks cool like this. Okay, now I will just create a, a solid color. So we go to solid color and I will choose this yellowish color in here. And I will change the blending mode to exclusion 
and they will turn down the opacity for like 20% like that as you can see it will give it this density or whatever I like it and maybe 15 alright maybe 15 like that alright so I will make a copy of it and this time I will change the color to this bluish color in here Right, and I will turn down the opacity for like 8% and I think I will just uh, rotate it so I will uh, select everything and I will press ctrl T and I will just make it like this alright and I will press enter ok it looks cool now I will just merge the visibility of this uh, whole layer so I will by pressing shift ctrl alt e I can just it's like taking a snapshot of uh, the image so I will just make it like this as you can see I will just change the change it to a black and white color so I will press shift ctrl u this will make it black and white and I will change the opacity to soft light like that and I will turn it down for like 70% and as you can see it looks cool now I will just duplicate it again and I will just make it normal and this time I will make a, bla a black layer mask to it so I will just go and choose gradient 2 in here and I will start like to making it like uh, starting to to be black from here to and start to look a little bit colory from there so we're just making it something like that as you can see as you can see I think it looks cool you can always bring back some of, uh, the colors like that and there you go so it's that easy to do and it looks really cool you can just try it with the different images and with different trees I just upload and you know it's the same method and as you can see it always look perfect alright so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial it, this was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorial to come and have a nice day thank you for watching